This is a short test of the video editing program Android Media, which you can use with your Android device. We start with um, just click on the program and what's appearing is a screen where you see that you can create a new project. So we're going to press that button, create new project. And now you see a settings page where you can choose the name of the project, the size of the video file, the frame rate, and if you are going to have a default transition. In this time, I'm not going to change anything except the frame size. I want to have it as good as possible, so I will choose the HD option. Just press that one and press OK. So now we will see an empty clipboard. And you see an add button in the middle. So we're going to press that add button. And then you can see three different alternatives. You have the video photo from gallery, video photo from file system, or the title clip. And as I want to start with uh, writing out what the video is going to be about, I'm going to say like the title clip to start with just presenting what's going to be in the movie. And here you will have some alternatives. You can add an item, which in this case means text, or you can change the background or change the duration. And I have already prepared a background with text, so I just insert this with pressing the change background button. And then you can choose color or picture. So in my case, it will be a picture. And now when that is done, I don't want to have it 5 seconds long as the default duration, so I will change the duration to just 2 seconds, and then I save this title page. Now you can see that the title page appear on the clipboard, and I continue with adding more video files. So now you see that I have a clipboard with a few video files and when you press at a video file you will see a menu. The menu shows different things that you can do with the video. And the first thing is to trim it. You can also select the size of the video clip, how it should fit within the actual screen. You can multiply it or you can just delete it. Now we're going to take a look at this trim alternative. So what you're actually going to do is uh, choosing the start frame and end frame of the clip. It's not harder than that. You just select it and then you press OK. Now we maybe want to take a look at the audio also. So let's press the audio editor. What you see now is and you see the video file and then you also see different audio tracks and so here you can actually have many different audio tracks at once superimposed on each other in this case i just use the video, video file audio and uh, i don't add anything extra so we have to go back again so i think i'm uh, done with this right now I don't want to add a transition in between, I just want to see the result and show it to you. So therefore I press the render option to the second from the left corner. So now you see that it's rendering the video file. For my video it uh, takes uh, around 20 seconds. So it's quite fast for a mobile device. Uh, maybe it would uh, be even faster if I would have the S4, which has a little bit faster processor than my S3. Anyway, now it's done. Uh, so now you can choose to upload it uh, instantly to YouTube. Or you can just save the file. Uh, maybe you want to put it in uh, Dropbox for convenience sharing or something like that. But we're going to have a look at uh, the video, so you can see how it lo looks like. So, 
as I see, we don't lose any quality by using this program to edit the video. It's just uh, a stitching of the video files. The special effects in this video was made with another Android app, so you can press this link if you want to see uh, how that's done. It's also ad based and it's also from the same company as made this app. Thanks for watching and don't forget to comment and subscribe. It's always fun to read your comments.